All right, everybody. This is a uh, another video dealing with VMware Fusion. Uh, specifically, I am doing this because I got a lot of questions regarding uh, do I need the Windows XP install CD or whatever. So let's go ahead and start up Fusion. <coughs> and uh, here we start off with Fusion, and we have my okay. And uh, here you can see that I've got uh, Windows Professional, Windows XP Pro, um, which you won't have, but if you click New, then that's where we get to have a new virtual machine. So I'll go through the setup here. and I don't have a uh, install CD, I'm pretending, for example, so I'm going to continue without my disk. Uh, if I had a disk image, I could certainly use that, but uh, continuing without the disk. And I'll just continue because I don't have any uh, operating system install disk or anything. I'll go set my default operating system to other. You can set it to a whole bunch of different stuff, but I'll pick other. And then the version, I'll choose other as well. And here's the default stuff that I get. I get 256 meg of RAM. I get an 8 gig hard drive, shared networking, and things like that. So you hit finish. I'll call this uh, sample save it <clears throat> and then uh, we'll start start it up okay so here's my uh, here's my operating system or my system uh, it's going through the DHCP bootloader looking for network boot uh, which I don't have anything there um, so it's gonna come up and tell me that there was no bootable device right if you had just an empty hard drive then you tried to boot off of it this is essentially what you'd get so uh, I'll go ahead and close that out and it comes up and tells me operating system not found which is uh, sort of a standard message. If I did have an install CD at this point I could go and hook it up uh, through through uh, the CD there but um, this uh, sort of tells you what Fusion looks like if you don't have an install CD. 